In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create and manage the opportunities for your business. This is really great. What we can see here in front of me is a list of opportunities that we have in a pipeline. By opportunity, I mean it's a potential customer for your business. And by pipeline, it is a structure in which you bring people or those leads through. So in our current pipeline, what we can see here is we have a selection of six headlines. We've got new lead, hot lead, delayed lead, scheduled lead, decision-making, won and lost. Future John here, I wanted to interrupt this video really quickly just to say thank you to the first 900 people who have signed up with our YouTube channel. It's absolutely amazing to see. I really appreciate it. Growing this channel is something I know I've wanted to do for years and I promise to bring you some awesome videos with amazing content and value purely for you going through 2023 and forward. So if you find this interesting or get any tips, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow on and watch some of our other videos. In the meantime, check out the description. I've included links down below that relate to everything that's being talked about in this video. So if you wanted to get a 14 day free trial for this CRM, then you can get it. Or if you wanted to check out some other resources, free things, check out the description. I'm John, get back into the video. So depending on your business, this can be changed up. You may want a different process for businesses that have sales cycles where you close a customer in a day or two. You can use a simplified version of this pipeline for customers who use larger sales cycles that could take months and years, then you may have a more complicated process in here and then click create new pipeline. We're going to call this one intro call and the stages for the pipeline are what we just had a look at there. It is the section where each of these different leads is at. Are they a brand new lead? Have you talked to them and you know that they are interested? So they're a hot lead. Have you scheduled an appointment with them? Did you win the customer? Did you lose the customer? And then if you want, you can change this to whatever headlines that you want that makes sense for your business. So if you change your pipeline in the future, you can come back in here. Uh, you can update your pipeline here. We'll hit save. And now we have two pipelines, the new one called intro call. When we go into opportunities, we want to click on the pipeline that we wanted to add leads into. With Go High Level, what we have set up already and what you can set up for yourself is some automations. So if someone comes to you and asks you for more information, if they are a lead, then you can set it up where they automatically end up in this pipeline. For example, in our 20 minute intro call pipeline, we have an automation set up where these leads come from Facebook ads or from website contact forms. And when they are created, they automatically get put into the new lead section. We get a notification on our phone app and we also get a notification through email where I specifically get a notification for this because I am assigned to these leads. To create a new opportunity, we click the new button. We put in the name of the customer. So I'll search for the name and who I'm looking to create a opportunity for here is Jason Bond and their email address will automatically fill itself in. If you've got a phone number, company name, that will all automatically fill in. And what we want to do is we want to name this. So we're saying this is for a website design client and we want them to go into the pipeline, pipeline intro call and we're putting them in as a new lead. When we click the button, we can see the different options which we created a minute ago. It's a open customer, so it's brand new. The lead value is 2000 euro for a website build. The owner is John McGovern, that's myself. And the source, if we say referral, or you could change it to paid ads, and we will add this opportunity. Then we see the opportunity has been added to the new lead section we can now click on this lead to see all of their details. So if I wanted to email this lead, then I'd be able to do it here. If I want to book or update a cal calendar appointment, I can do it here. If I need to do a task, 
then I can also do it here. So you've got your due date, you assign the person, you give it a name, or if you just have a generalized note for the lead, maybe I've had a second or third phone call with this lead, and that's where I'm going to add the information through in here, or I can click directly onto the contact information. Let's say I've talked to Jason two or three times, and I know he's a hot lead, so I just grab it, and I drag it over to the hot lead section. We can see the value for this lead and the quantity of these leads all automatically update. So we've got our leads built in there. We have the pipeline built in where we can move them along the track. The alternative is you have your leads generated and they go into your inbox and then you forget about your leads. Maybe you use an Excel file to manage your leads. This is a much better, more structured way to manage your leads and to have all of your information linked together. So let's say we want to find out more about this customer and I need to do more work on this customer while I'm calling them. So there's a section or a button here called contact info and we click the little icon. This will open up a new page that will show us the contact information for this customer and I can now email the customer directly from here. So we've got our contact and it will load now. Jason Bond, Info at Glassful Media. And then in the middle here, we see we have an email. If we have a phone number for this, okay, we've got a phone number there. I'm gonna hit save. And I'm going to reload the page and the contact details will load themselves up. And now what we see down in the middle here, I'm able to email the customer or I'm able to send a text message because I have their phone number and this text message will go directly to them. If we say, hey, Jason, you can request payment through text message or through email. You can also use templates that you have built in for yourself. So maybe you've got a template email that you send to customers who you are trying to sell a service to. Maybe you've got a template text message to booked appointments that, are, um, that you need to cancel or that you need to change the time with. So you can use templates for many different reasons here. You can send it right now, or you can schedule your message to go out. So we can select our day, change our time, and we can change the time zone. So if you're an international business dealing with customers around the world, this is a very handy feature. Back on our opportunities, we have Jason. We are able to text them straight from the opportunities page, which I'm using a fake number so it's not sending. We can also email the customer, follow up email. Hi Jason, explain here. And again, we can add an attachment, we can use a template or we can request a payment, which will link directly in with our Stripe and we can hit send. So that email is now sent to that customer straight into their inbox. If we need to create a task for the customer, we have it on the right hand side. And the due date for this, I'm going to put in as Wednesday the 15th at 8 a.m. Hit, hit the tick, hit save, and that is now scheduled a new task. So we can see here there's a task for Jason that's scheduled in two days. In two days time, when I come back in here and I complete that task, I can tick that off and it disappears because the task is complete. To automate getting this lead into this pipeline, what we can do is we can set up some automations. On the left-hand side, we have the automation tab. So we've got two different automations set up at the moment. We've got booked calls and Facebook leads for SaaS. When a lead is created, when they submit their information, they are automatically going to go through this process. You are assigned a user, so John McGovern is assigned as the user. Customer doesn't know that. There's an internal notification to say you have a new meeting booked. Here's your appointment time. Here's the contact's name, their email, their phone number, and company name. We also create it as an opportunity. So now that we add in this lead as an opportunity, they automatically go into the opportunity section that we just looked at. The opportunity is sent a text message. They receive a text message to say, Thank you for scheduling your call in. I'm looking forward to talk about your growth goals and we can attach files in these templates as well. In this case, I send them to a website address and we've got one more part to that automation. So one day before that appointment is booked, you can book one month ahead of time. When the event is happening, one day before the event, 
we want to then do an action. And the action that we're doing is we are emailing the customer or the lead to say, your appointment is starting in 24 hours. Make sure that you go to our Google meeting. And that's today's video, keep it short and sweet, giving you an overview of how you can create and manage your pipeline and how you can create some automations for that pipeline as well, helping you save time and accelerate the business growth. I've been John, see you in the next video.